Hello there, my name's Joe and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at Clip and or Clip Skip in Comfy UI. We'll try to work out what this thing is, how we can use it to improve or add to our images. And I'll uh, show you some examples of using various levels of Clip Skip and uh, we'll see what they look like. So um, let's let's move on. OK, so let's take a look at what is the difference between clip and clip skip. Well, clip is an embedding composed of layers that is present in some checkpoint models, not all, but some, which analyzes the text in the prompt. And if you change the clip strength, this can give you different results. So this is really is just another way of helping us to tweak our images. Now, I've mentioned that it's, it's, a, it's embedded in layers. Now, as I understand it, Stable Diffusion 1.5 has 12 layers and Stable Diffusion XL type models will have 24 layers. And that is only if Clip has been um, assigned to that model. Clip is something that is used in the building, in the training of models. So it's, um, but from what I've read, it's not present in all models. So there you go. But that's basically what Clip is. So Clip is something built into models and Clip Skip is what we use to remove some of the layers if we don't want to use them. So the way this works is if you want to use all the layers of clip that were included in the model, you would select a clip skip of minus one. If you select minus two, it will skip the last layer. Minus three will skip the last two layers. And so it goes on. So that is what clip is. Clip is what goes into the model. Clip skip is what we as end users will use to control the amount of layers that we want to use in our model. OK, so to see how this works, let's uh, take a look at my workflow here. So I'm using today, I'm using the efficiency set of nodes. This is a very good package. I'll show you how to install it in just a second. But what it's great for, it combines um, nodes that can be combined together uh, and thus creating far fewer um, nodes for us to need to use. So on this example here, for instance, I've added a LoRa stacker here. I didn't really need to do this, but I've got a LoRa stacker here. But for us to generate a simple text to image setup, we can just use these three nodes here. We've got the efficiency um, loader node. We've got the efficiency case sampler. And then I'm just using the standard default save image. So three nodes is all we need to generate a text to image using the efficiency nodes. So if you want to install the efficiency nodes, all we need to do is go to manager, go to install custom nodes. And up in the search box, I just type FE, -E -double -F -I. should be sufficient, I think. Press return, and here we have the efficiency nodes for Comfy UI. Don't forget, if you click on this um, blue link here, this will take you to the GitHub page where you can find much more information um, about these nodes. So that's well worth a look. So if you want to install these, install these and then do a restart of Comfy UI. I'll just get rid of this now. Close out. OK, so let's have a quick look through this workflow. We have, as I've mentioned, a LoRa stacker. I've added a couple of LoRa's to this image. The, the LoRa's are not important. They're nothing really to do with this, the clip side of this, so you can just ignore those. However, this um, loader here, we have the checkpoint. So I'm using Dream Shaper XL. You'll see down here on the next option, we have this base clip skip option. 
which is where we can set the skip clip or the clip skip rather should i say now you don't get this option on all loading nodes so this is one of the reasons why i've used the efficiency one so here we can we can now we can now adjust the um skip clip where the details are we've got a prompt here we've got a positive and a negative prompt and i'm trying to generate i'm going to try to generate an image similar to this surreal little thing here it's quite nice so i've copied the positive and negative prompt here and down here we've got the guide numbers steps the sampler used and the seed number so i've copied these details so i'm hoping to get something a bit similar to this i'm sure it won't be exactly the same um but um we'll give that a go so i mentioned earlier that we can check how many layers is in our clip or if maybe even if it's there at all and what i found you can do is so i'm using an excel model now as i said i believe that should have 24 layers so if i was to set my clip skip to say minus 30 which is way above the number of layers that should be there now if i try and run this now I predict I will get an error message. And if I'm lucky, the error message will tell me, um, well, it will tell me it can't do this because there's too many layers. But if I'm lucky, it's going to tell me how many layers I can use. So let's give that a go. So I'm going to run this on a minus 30, expecting a fail. So let's Q prompt. And straight away, we've got an error message value minus 30 smaller than the minimum of minus 24 so that's really interesting so that has confirmed that there are 24 clip layers in this model so let's close out of that and i'm going to put my clip skip level back to minus one now you may remember i said minus one uses all the levels of the text encoder so let's um run through is there anything else we need to look at on here um i've copied as i said i've copied a seed number i've got that as a fixed seed i believe i've copied the steps the cfg the sampler everything is, is roughly the same as the example that we saw here so let's give this another go now that we've amended to uh, the clip skip to minus one so let's try and Q prompt again. Now just remember, so we're this time around minus one, we're using all layers of the text encoder. And then what I will do afterwards, once this is generated, I'm going to show you, I've, I've already practiced this previously and I've um, already created images using clip skip minus one to minus nine and i'll show you the differences rather than you watching me do this over and over nine times i've already done that and we'll just flick through the pictures and uh and then at that time probably i'll explain why i didn't get to number 10. So let's just give this a moment more and hopefully we'll uh, we'll see a first image And just a reminder, this is something along these lines is what we are aiming for. Okay, so nice image on its own. So we've got some of the essence of the image, but not all. So we've got this girl dressed very similarly. We haven't got the creatures at all but the rest of it is pretty damn close isn't it so i think that's pretty good so what i'm going to do now is we're now going to go across to windows explorer and i'm going to show you nine images i got going from clip skip minus one 
to minus 9. So let's move into Windows Explorer. OK, so we're now in my Windows Explorer. And we're going to take a look at these images here. You may notice that there are 10 images. I mentioned nine earlier. That's because as part of the demo, I reran the first image again. So my image 10 here is exactly the same as the very first image. So we can we could ignore this but because I used a fixed seed. I got exactly the same image. So that just gives me consistency. So let's start with the images using um, clip skip minus one. So as we saw, we had the um, the main essence of the image, except that we didn't have those creatures. But other than that, everything else was was looking quite quite good. So clip skip one. Next image, clip skip two. Here we have now got the two of these creatures. Let's move on and see what we get with three. Clip skip three. Moving on. Clip skip four. So we've now got the three creatures there. Um, that's, that's quite seamless. That's quite good. Quite like that one. Clip skip five. Here we go. See now my mind the animals are now starting to look more like dogs and like so i think we've already probably surpassed um what we want out of the clip skip but let's let's go on next one again if you look at the creatures they are um, turning more into realistic animals and less surrealistic really and and i think we're starting to notice more defects in the um, in the eyes and things like that. So let's just go back on through again. We're now down to one animal. And it's um, not surrealistic at all. It's a, a dog or a wolf or whatever. This one now we're seeing areas here in the shape of this body not looking good. So. And again, this one here, if you look at the Let's just open this one up. Um, oh. oh, sorry. Let me forgot what I was doing there. Apologies. So yeah, we see we've got AI eyes and not very nice at all. And I think one, two, I think she may even have six toes. So let's go on to the next one. Is that the last one? And then we're back again. So we've we've seen all nine images what i'll do is i will just do a little very quick little slideshow of the nine images at the end of this just so you can have a better look at them if you want to do that but, um that is the difference that clip skip has made okay so just to finish off then um this image that you see here now i just reran clip skip at minus four which is what I think is the uh, best image that I managed to generate from the from the nine different um, levels. So just to remind you, that's what we had. This is this is obviously a much nicer image than mine, but I'm quite pleased with that result. I think it's it's not not too bad at all. I did say I stopped at nine, and the reason for that was at minus ten, the uh, young lady here was naked, and so that wasn't really Completely correct to use on YouTube and I don't know why that happened at all but that's what happened I did notice that as we got to I think eight and nine I, I thought is, is the skirt getting shorter and shorter as well I wasn't sure of that and then when I got to ten uh, she had no clothes on so well uh, I called it a halt there on that so just a reminder that clip is an embedding um, put into a model by its creator. I believe not all models have clip, but that's a point that some people argue about. Um, however, um, for 1.5 type models, there's probably 12 layers and SDXL type models. If clip's been used, 24 layers. But a very quick way to check is that test I did, which was to 
set the clip skip to say minus 30 and that came back and confirmed how many layers actually existed so that was a useful little thing i i think um, don't forget also that you need to use um, to, to adjust clip skip you need to be using a node that has clip skip in it which is why i use the efficiency nodes and this efficiency loader has the base clip skip option here so you'll, you'll need that as well and that's pretty much it i think so um, i'll just say thank you very much as always for your time i do hope you found this useful i found this whole thing about clip and clip skip um mind-blowing there isn't a, i couldn't find any great documentation on it i've just put together a few threads so this is just really what i think clip and clip skip is just based on various bits of articles and videos that i've watched it's um it's it's quite an odd one but anyway yes yeah, so thank you for your time i hope you found this useful have a good day and goodbye